get to the Grand Line! Well, I know a shortcut for an island if you want, Luffy. Okay, let's go! Come along with me! Riddle me this, homie. How bricked up are you right now? If you're anything like me, you'd be absolutely positively oozing. Not only because you spent the better part of two weeks in bed, but because you ended up becoming so bored in that bed that you just started opening up random maps to keep yourself entertained. Add after your 15th level of Candy Crush and your umpteenth playthrough of Raid Shadow Legends, your mind may start to drift towards other forms of entertainment. In this case, being dating apps. I've never used a single one in my life, but I was curious to see how they worked. And my favorite pastime happens to be manipulating women, so it's a match made in heaven. Issue is, folks, I didn't realize there was such a plethora of different apps. I mean, there's an app specifically made for any type of dating you're interested in. You got farmers, you got Christians, you got Muslims, apps for sugar daddies, apps for sugar babies, and many more examples that if I had an editor, I would probably list out, but it's me doing all the work, so f*** you. However, even with this seemingly endless plethora of options at your fingertips, one group has been notoriously and famously underrepresented. Children. But thank God, Roblox seems to want to fix that for us. Roblox, yes, the Roblox that your nephews and nieces, or presumably if you are those nephews and nieces on iPad play. Yep, designed almost exclusively for children and a couple creepy YouTubers, no offense mates. I know you gotta chase your bag, but it always makes my skin crawl. Has announced plans to add a dating extension and is currently in development of that dating extension to the Roblox app. What does that mean exactly? Well, I'll put it in layman's terms, shall I? App made for kids decides to add adult element. Reasoning why? I can't fathom. Luckily for me, Roblox CEO Dave Bazuki has come out with their reasoning publicly. Like every good tech CEO, there's never enough money that can line his pocket. And until they literally have the ability to erase flight logs on, say, a private channel to the middle of the ocean, and even then, in some cases, they aren't satisfied with the amount of money they have. Our friend Dave here happens to be one of those CEOs who wants to get into an upper echelon. And much like, say, the Epic Store or our friends over at Steam who can continuously try to expand and evolutionize their gaming platform, Roblox wants to hit every single market with every single sticky finger they can grab. If this was 2010, Ubisoft being Ubisoft was just fine. If this was 2015, EA being EA making games and also adding microtransactions would also be fine. But this is the year 2023, so if your company isn't trying to do everything, are you even doing anything? Even though they're currently making 2.2 billion a year on a free app that was designed for the public, Dave thinks they can move beyond that in some pretty interesting and crazy ways, as they're also showing interest in becoming an education platform as well. Announced in a keynote speaker to investor calls by our CEO friend over here, they laid out some pretty unique roadmap plans for Roblox and its future. Much like Meta, Roblox is trying to move in the direction of an all-inclusive hub. And also like Meta, it's going to be an all-inclusive hub that nobody uses. But their plans are pretty interconnected all the same. For example, when you're done on the Roblox app and inevitably get a woman to marry because you can't have babies without doing that. Those kids need to be educated and they need to be educated the right way. The Roblox way even. That's why Roblox has announced education to be a part of their platform. But what's the big deal, Dino? That sounds fantastic. Well, it's like educational games for kids to learn through. I mean, they're already on the app, why not? No, Roblox plans on becoming a full school curriculum with all the bells and whistles and all of the qualification check marks. Meaning you as a young adult, maybe in the next five years, could literally get your GED if you're in America through Roblox itself. An atrociously horrible idea, because if the pandemic has taught us anything, children are not to be trusted. And I can't even imagine the vile puke-stained, piss-ridden person that's gonna come out of the Roblox education program. Nor could I imagine <laughs> going to a job interview and saying, yes, I have a Roblox PhD, I'll have you know. However, I might have to get used to that idea fairly quickly, because another thing that was announced is they also want to be used as a recruitment tool for jobs. And even further than that, they want their app to be utilized in the actual hiring perspective. Dude, if these plans come to light, theoretically, there could be a human being whose entire life has been affected by Roblox the company. Your parents met through the Roblox dating app, you were raised through the Roblox education system, you got your job interview through Roblox the app, and then Roblox deemed whether or not you were suitable for that company role. I'm not gonna say the word dystopian because we already live in a dystopian time. If you think about the overwhelming amount of CTV and footage and personal tracking 
data that's constantly monitoring you. But I'm going to be extra pissed off if my dystopian future, future dystopian is based around Roblox culture. This isn't cyberpunk, bro. It's not Euro dollars. I'm going to be trading Roblox for my illicit goods. Not to mention all of my cool futuristic cyberpunk slang is going to be affected by them. Forgetting someone, June. Oof is a greeting now. Get used to it. And finally, the Roblox company wants to start utilizing Roblox, the app, in order to have virtual online meetings. Now, guys, to you, all of these endeavors seem pretty silly. And you're exactly right. They are f***ing silly. Not only because of just how impractical most of these things are, but how dangerous they are going to become. Let's first wipe off the sticky goo where we began, right? The Roblox dating app itself. Now, I don't mean to sound disrespectful, and that's because I am being disrespectful, but dudes, over a certain age, you should not be on Roblox. Any other video game, absolutely, but genuinely sitting down at the age of 17 plus with your iPad and playing a game of Mega Buck City or whatever it's called is insanely disturbing. And this may be the optimist in me, which very rarely makes an appearance, but, but I just don't see that many 17 year olds being interested in what's going on in Roblox. And if they are, dude, the only expression that I can give to that is, Ugh! if a homie who is 17 plus or even 15 plus is trying to engage with me in a conversation about new Roblox features, I am calling the police. And if that same individual then tells me he's on the Roblox dating app, I am becoming the police and I'm shooting him in the back while he's unarmed. And you can thank me like one of those future psychopath tests because I guarantee I stopped a crime in doing so. We already all know the score. We know what's going to happen the minute that app launches. It's flies to the honey for predators. And kids who want to prove how mature and smart they are, because again, kids are evil little dumbasses, are going to sign up to it no matter how much verification they slap on that thing. The next issue is the education. Traditional schooling systems are majority ineffective, and that's because the system has always been the same thing. Memorization over practicality. In a perfect world, you would go to school, and this isn't a cringe Reddit thread, just I have some points, please, and that school would teach you practical life skills as well as rudimentary subject matter. The current system does teach you rudimentary subject matter, like obviously math, English, English literature, which is for some reason useful, as they're all broad strokes of topics that can be applied to later focus of studies to eventually focus you on a specific job, like if I specialize in mechanics in school, for example, I could later study that on in uni and eventually get a job in that field. But that schooling system needs to be paired with real life issues. Going back to the car example, it would be fantastic to teach kids how to change a tire, how to check their oil, how to balance their books, how to cook basic dishes. What I'm trying to get at is the current system works, sort of, but it needs improvement on. You know how people say defund the police, when in actuality that would do the opposite of what you want? By removing money, you're making that police force more susceptible to corruption and bad practice. By adding money and adding proper training equipment, you can improve the system to make the officers of the future better. That's what needs to happen with schooling. So I come back to my point of why it would be horrifying for Roblox to be a school, is because it would remove you of all of those things and won't even give you the chance to get it. You can't evolve an online classroom past memorization, which is already an ineffective means of education. Now you want to do it behind a computer to get rid of social interaction? But at that point, just leave the kids in the cribs. We may as well just have potato babies. As for the recruitment process, and screw it, we're going to bundle in the meetings. Well, that's just cringe. That's all. It's cringe. Look, Roblox, I know you want to get your profit margins up, but you're not the Qatari royal family, homie. You don't have to expand to change your image. We know what you are. You make good money being what you are. And if there's one thing there's always going to be, there's always going to be more more kids. Just like there's always going to be more Dina subscribers because you've watched the entire video, you may as well. Thank you boys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.